So if you guys want to know the video. And uh, I'm going to do something different today. Um, talk about the women's game. Like I said in the last video. So, yeah. Um, let's get into it. The dark side of the women's game. Let's go. Alright, so. Yes. The women's game. Very underrated. I gotta say, it's very, very underrated. I've, I watched the Women's World Cup in like a 2019, so it's pretty interesting to watch. Um, and when I mean entertaining, I mean entertaining. But, not like that. What I will say is, the women's game gets very over-sexualized. Very. Like, very. Um, it's kind of sad, you know? Any women that are watching this video right now, um, if you have done those research about this, um, yeah, uh, it's pretty sad. But, um, you know, there's legends like Megan Rompany, um, Marta, she's probably one of the greatest women's players of all time, um, uh, Alex Morgan, uh, Heath, she's a pretty good one. Um, and coming up stars like, uh, Jordan Haitema, which, uh, she used to date Alfonso Davies. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird, but, um, but the dark side of the women's game, like, this, this is weird. Like, that is the weirdest thing I, I've ever seen in women's football ever. She literally got a hitman, dude, a hitman. To kill one of their team, their teammates. Oh, scary! Oh, 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 oh! Shiver my timbers! Shut up, man! In Paris, my God! I really want them dead. Well, sorry, sorry. Fuck's sake, man! Why? I'm just saying. Still, it's just weird. Um, I remember there was some uh. Girls in Africa, four girls got R A P E D by their coach. Yeah, I can't say the actual word. I just have to spell it out. Again, bro, they're just taking the piss at this moment. You're just taking the pit. But yeah, that was sad. They were underage as well. Um, and then like um. Yeah, the women's game gets one over sexualized. Two people don't really care for it because, well, it's women. And three, they treat y'all women like trash. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it right now. All right, that fixes. Okay, hold on. Um, but I'm just gonna say it right now. The women's game really gets treated like trash, and. <sighs> It's just, you know, it's kind of sad. Because um, I find the women's game very entertaining. It's it's something different. And I liked it. It was pretty good. Um, Shut up, man! We do not care. Even the, the lady refs, they get over-sexualized as well. Or they get told to stay in the kitchen or stupid that. But, like, I mean... It's sad, you know? Y'all women should really get some praise because y'all have a lot of great players. And, um, yeah. If I have any women watching this video, please comment down below who y'all's favorite women's player is. And if there's any men who are watching this video right now and you probably don't watch women's football, then, um, or you probably don't even watch women's basketball, which is okay. Um, but if you watch women's anything, that's, that's up to you. You don't really have to. But uh, for the ladies, um, or the men, you don't really have to say anything. You can just watch. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a video about this because this is, this is very sad. And you know, women should really get more praise. Um, oh, another dark thing that happened in the women's game. Um, let's see. What was it? Oh, um, 
it's pretty much just like it's every single year the US women's national team wins every single year when it comes to the World Cup so it's not really a surprise but you know it's crazy that 51 years ago they this they banned women's football do you know that it's crazy it's really it's really crazy um but yeah i just want to make a video because um i may make another video about a woman's legend so if any of y'all are welcome to that please uh for the ladies like i said earlier comment down below who y'all's favorite um women's whatever really um and uh yeah see you guys in the next one bye bye